coming up on today's show. Today we're going to talk about those five things that uh, you don't want to forget when spring cleaning. Any background to that uh, list of items? Yes, well, you know, I think we all spring clean every year, most of us, and we know the things that we have to do. You mentioned the windows and the opening and, you know, going through and organizing your closet and all your drawers. Those are kind of the things that people do all the time. But there's some things that we forget. What, okay. what are we not remembering? I like to call your desktop your prime real estate. So only keep things that you have to refer to every day. Five things not to forget when spring cleaning today on Keeping You Organized. Hello and welcome to Keeping You Organized. Uh, we are in that spring cleaning mode, but uh, you know, once in a while, we've got the list. Of course, we're going to do the windows and all this and the other thing, but we came up with uh, five things that maybe you might forget. And uh, joining us is declutter coach Deb, Deb Cabrell. How are you doing today, Deb? Hey, John. Great to be back with you. Well, it is awesome because I, I love you have the high energy. You've got the, you know, the TV show going there. So you have a lot of people following you and you always have these creative little tips uh, that our, our listeners and viewers really like. So today we're going to talk about those five things that uh, you don't want to forget when spring cleaning. Any background to that uh, list of items? Yes, well, you know, I think we all spring clean every year, most of us, and we know the things that we have to do. You mentioned the windows and the opening and, you know, going through and organizing your closet and all your drawers. Those are kind of the things that people do all the time. But there's some things that we forget, and I think these are important. So I just thought this would be a great topic for your listeners. Oh, absolutely. Well, we love tips, and let's get right into it. Let's get into the first thing. What, okay. what are we not remembering? Well, how about your computer? So let's mm. start first with your desktop. Okay. So many people have a million shortcuts on their desktop. Are any of you guilty of that? <laughs> One of the things that we want you to do is really, yes, you're shaking your head. <laughs> what we want you to do is really limit to only those shortcuts that you really need on a daily basis. I like to call your desktop your prime real estate. So only keep things that you have to refer to every day. If it's something that you don't refer to that often, it's really clutter and you want to put it away neatly in a folder that's labeled so that you can find it. But what happens with a lot of the folks that I work with is they have their, con you know, their whole desktop is completely covered. So let's get rid of those shortcuts. That's a, you know, a declutter or an organizing for spring or cleaning for spring that we don't think about. The other thing is when you're talking about your computer in general, you know, keeping it very clean. Because again, our hands are dirty. We're, you know, when we're sick, we're coughing on it. Make sure that you wipe it down with appropriate stuff that's not going to damage your computer. Clean off the screen, you know, get things, you know, not only organize on the desktop, but organize and clean the actual computer itself because it can become a real breeding ground for germs, especially right. with the flu season. You know, it's right. still it's still hanging on in there. You know, it's interesting too, and just to clarify for people maybe too that are listening, that you know, the desktop, we're talking about all those little icons, right? You know, and I'm yeah. I'm guilty of this, you know, two hundred icons. I don't know. We think, oh, we'll just save it to our desktop. Just save it to our desktop. So it's on your screen. So I literally you just click on them and hit delete, right? Yes, or or put them, you know, back. You know, you don't want your only copy to be the one that you put on on the desktop because I've seen that too. I've worked with clients because mm -hmm. I do not only professional organizing but productivity and efficiency coaching, and I've seen clients that have saved the original to the desktop. So you don't necessarily Ugh. want to delete it. You want to make sure that it's if it's a copy, you can get rid of it. But if it's your only copy. I would suggest creating a very, you know, clearly labeled file in your documents folder so that you can find it quickly. Because, you know, being productive and efficient is all about being able to get to things quickly. And when you've got a cluttered, you know, desktop, it's the same as having a stack of papers on your desk that you have to ruffle through. Right. Same exact, you know, type of situation. So, you know, do some of that, you know, digital decluttering during spring and also freshen up and make sure your computer is in good shape. Then I'm going to go on to your mouse um, and your keyboard. If you don't, okay. if you have a separate keyboard, you're not doing a laptop. You know, we have found like, you know, crumbs, pieces mm. of French fries, all these crazy things in that keyboard. It's, it's, it's pretty yucky. So we like to use like a little toothbrush, you know, just something you don't want to, you got to be careful what, you know, sprays you use. There are certain sprays that you can put on a computer and on a keyboard. Mm -hmm. Be very careful, but use that little brush. Get out all those crumbs. Even if you only do it once a year at spring, uh, although sometimes we like to encourage people when you do the spring cleaning, well, maybe you should do this in another three to six months too. Right. So clean in between, 
Also, your mouse, it's the same situation. When your hands are dirty, they're on your keyboard, they're on your mouse, we're coughing, you know, it just is, it becomes a, bre a breeding ground. So we want to make sure that we're wiping that down, we're cleaning that all off. Again, we forget about these things. Right. While we're on technology, don't forget your, your smartphone as well. Um, I know I just got over the flu and I was thoroughly cleaning my smartphone because you're on it constantly and you don't realize. And we just, we just take it for granted. We don't take time to clean those things, but it's a really good time at spring cleaning to do that. Right. You know, I also remember like back to the icons too on the desktop, you know, if you delete 15 or 20 or 30 of them, I think there's an auto arrange where it like lines them all back up really nicely, isn't there? Yes. You know what I do on mine? I have a very few select on mine, but I have them in categories. Like I have a few things associated with our show, which we do every single day and I need those. And then I have a few other things. I don't like them in the order or alphabetical. I like to place them certain places, mm -hmm. but it's whatever works for you. We always tell people, as you, I'm sure other professional organizers have told you, you know, there's no cookie cutter way to organize. We right. really need to organize based on your personality style, which we did a whole <laughs> webinar on that yep. and about the way that you're going to maintain it. So so what may work for John may not work for Deb. So we need to come up with our own best practices and then be able to stick to those so that we can stay organized and be really efficient. All right. So now, uh, are we still on number one or we kind of went to number two? Yeah, that's, well, is... that's kind of number one, number two, you know, your smartphone, your, you know, all your technology. technology yeah. Now I want to move into the kitchen, John. Oh, okay. Because we definitely all know to clean out our refrigerator and freezer and all those things. But you know what we do forget? our condiments and our spices. Mm. And my husband will probably be very upset if I told the story because he's a really great, neat, organized guy. But I remember we were dating. I thought, wow, look at his kitchen. It's amazing. And when I went into his refrigerator, it was completely neat, but the condiments had expired like six months prior. Mm. So, you know, don't forget about those condiments. Look at the expiration dates. You don't realize like things like jelly, it's really only good for one year. Hot sauces, mm. Those last five, things like mustard one year, ketchup six months. If you go and look online, some of the shelf life for some of these things is really, really short. So make sure that you go through at least at springtime and look at all the condiments. If you haven't used them and they're in your refrigerator a while, chances are they may be expired and you want to just, you know, go through and get rid of those. Well, you know, and I think we never think of our, you know, we have a spring cleaning checklist on SME.com under uh, SME.com slash checklist. I don't think condiments are on there. So that is a perfect example of one of those things that, you know, it, it, it is maybe in the under the clean your refrigerator, but sometimes people think, well, you know, I'd like to just keep that because you only use it every so often. But uh, that's a great uh, point. Well, listen, yeah. we're going to we're going to take a quick little break here. And when we come back, we still have a few more of these five things that you need to uh, not forget when you do a spring cleaning. We're with, we're with Declutter Coach Deb, and we'll be right back. Would your family be able to easily access your important documents for a major life event? Having your key life documents organized helps ensure that your wishes and assets are managed, retained, and distributed as needed while being less stressful for you and your loved ones. The Life Document Organizer Kit helps you to organize and store key life documents like wills and trusts, health care directives, investment and retirement plans, marital documents, key personal contacts, and more. Life events that might trigger a need for these documents include a health condition where someone may need to take over certain responsibilities, or decisions regarding care or communicating your wishes regarding your assets. And access to these important documents is key. The Smeed Life Document Organizer Kit is divided into six color-coded sections. Each section contains individual folders that pertain to that section. The Smeed Wheel of Organization provides an easy reference and guide to recommend what documents should be stored within each section. The Life Documents Organizer Kit has the flexibility to expand by adding additional categories that are specific to your own situation. Being prepared can alleviate your own stress and the stress of others. Keep your life and the documents that matter most in order with the Life Documents Organizer Kit. From Smeed, keeping you organized. We're back now on Keeping You Organized, talking about the five things you do not want to forget when you are spring cleaning, you know, we've got the spring cleaning check checklist at smead.com. And we, in the first part of this uh, uh, program here today with Deb Cabral, the declutter coach Deb, um, we were talking about, you know, uh, just the digital clutter uh, that happens on your desktop. We talked about getting rid of all that icky stuff on your, 
your mouse and, and your technology. And then we also talked about, you know, not only cleaning your, your kitchen, but really more specifically about cleaning your uh, condiments and taking some of those outdated things and getting rid of them. So, Deb, we still have a few more um, uh, tips, a few more things that we don't want to forget. So are you ready to move on? I am. And, you know, speaking of the condiments and being in the kitchen, John, don't forget your spices. You know, the shelf oh, yeah. life for spices is very short as well. And when so we work with our clients, if we look at the jar and the logo has changed for the company or it looks like it might have been purchased in the 80s, mm -hmm. it's really time to move on because I don't think you're really going to get sick from any spices, but they definitely lose their you know potency. They lose their flavor. So mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you're, you're checking your spices very often. Again, it's only about a year or so for most spices, and then they really lose their potency. So that's another good thing we don't think of. We organize everything, but we really don't check expiration dates or think of right. how long you know we've had things. Well, I think two people... Uh think about cleaning their kitchen like every week or every couple of weeks, you know, they want to get rid of the bad food. But again, with those condiments, you know, as thinking about it as part of your spring cleaning, it's, it's good. It's kind of like changing your, um, you know, your smoke detector batteries in the, in the fall and spring. It's a good kind of time to remember to do some of those things that you wouldn't normally do like on a weekly or a bi-weekly basis. Right. Well, the next one, John, we're going to go on to your pocketbook. So this ah. is for the ladies out there. And maybe men can do it with their briefcases. But I always say that the state of a woman's pocketbook is equivalent to the state of her mind. So if we open up and we have a completely disorganized pocketbook, most likely that person probably feels overwhelmed. Now, it might just be a temporary situation or it may just be the way they live their life. But empty out your purse and just organize everything. One of the things I suggest, because a lot of women like to change purses often so what happens is they'll take a few things out of the purse start a new one and then i know with our clients we they may have 10 pocketbooks with items in all 10. so what we suggest you can get them inexpensively at a dollar store um, a lot of companies if you buy makeup they'll offer these little free bags but i love to put things in categories in small bags so that when it's time to change your purse you pull out your eight or nine or however many bags you have and you move into the next person. You don't have to worry about things lingering at the bottom and so forth. So some of the categories, obviously you'll have your wallet. One may be uh, makeup. Another one may be receipts. I keep one with my business cards and my name badge in it. So wherever I go, I know I always have those things. Mm -hmm. Another thing might be you know, coupons. If you like to shop to make sure you have them with you. Another thing may be if you have a small child, you may put something that they need. Another one may be medications, whatever it might be having them all in their own individual pouch makes it very easy to change purses so right. that's another really great thing organize and clean out your pocketbook this spring wow and and so you're talking about how many uh, divider kind of uh are you talking about individual things or, or, or a... Individual things. Okay, yes, got I like, it. I like the idea of individual. They don't have to match, you know, just something very inexpensive. You can pick up at the dollar store. Again, a lot right. of makeup companies, if you're buying makeup, yes. they'll give you those free bags. I save them and I use them for so many different things. I even have like a little mending kit in one that has, you know, just, you know, safety pins and things like, oh my gosh, you don't want to have a problem if you're out. A little sewing kit, a little mirror, things like that. Rather than throwing everything in your purse that you can't find it, putting them in these individual bags... It helps two things. Number one, it keeps you organized. You can find things what you need. Right. Number two, when you want to change purses, you can do it very easily. Okay, great. Well, are we ready to move on to number five? We are. Awesome. And this is for the moms out there with young kids. I miss those days. My kids are older now, but cleaning your stroller and car seat at spring. Um, I remember with my kids, you know, crusted Cheerios, mm. you know, French fries from McDonald's, pretzels, whatever it might be. You don't realize how dirty the car seats and the strollers get. Oh, yeah. So I used to like it spring, you know, un, un, take off the, um, the part that has the fabric, you know, spray and wash it, put it in the wash. I never put it in the dryer because I didn't want it not to fit back mm -hmm. on to either the carriage or the car seat. Hang it up and dry it. Disinfect all the plastic and the metal part and then put everything back. And it's nice to do it spring, but it's really nice to do it more often. But this is a time if you haven't done it in a while and you look at at the car seat and or the stroller and you know want to cringe <laughs> this yeah. is a good time to, to you know to focus on those well i think too again kind of like the example earlier in the kitchen oftentimes when we get our car cleaned or whatever we don't go in that depth to like say the car seat and so you know maybe we vacuum it out but that's about it and uh, so being able to do this with kind of a uh, you know in fall in spring kind of in sync with those uh, seasonal cleanings uh, that'll help you remember to get it done 
Yes, absolutely. Right. So well, I hope these tips help your viewers and listeners. Yeah. Hey, tell us a little bit about your TV show. Uh, how many years have you been in, in the season and how can people uh, check the TV show out? Yeah, we're really excited, John. You know, um, I'm located in central New York in between um, Syracuse and, and Albany in a small town outside of Utica. And we started our television show in 2011. It's called Organization Motivation. You can visit our website, organizationmotivation.com. And we started the show. And then very soon thereafter, we started our news segments, which are 60-second little snippets called Organized in 60 Seconds. Mm. They um, were on, you know, primarily during news or lifetime, lifetime shows. So my goal was always to try to go national and last year in 2015 we did we're currently our yeah. show and or new segments are currently airing in 17 markets in 12 states nice. um, we're really excited we're going to be airing in las vegas very soon on may 1st so we're just continuing to grow and expand and we just like to get our message out of you know helping people organize whether it's through our 30 minute television show or our new segments um, which again organized in 60 seconds.com and those are little 60 second snippets if somebody's sitting home and saying Gee, I just have 60 seconds. What can I learn? You can watch. We have dozens of them on the website. Right. Now, how about your uh, organizing services? You still perform organizing services. Do you yes, do those just do. locally or virtually? How, how does that all work? And how can people actually get a hold of you? Yes, well, we do. Our, our Declutter Coach, which is our residential organizing division, that, um, that is where we do all of our help with uh, families, uh, small businesses from their home, individuals. And our television show is basically a reality show of us working with our clients who are happy enough and willing to let us in into their homes and offices. Uh, so you can reach us at declutterCoachDeb.com. We do hands-on organizing throughout um, upstate New York. We do virtual organizing all over the country. And then I speak a lot all over the country. Um, and then my corporate division, we do corporate training and development and that we travel all over the country. If a company is looking to improve efficiency or productivity, um, we can definitely help them out. Well, this has been uh, an action-packed episode to say the least. We got our, I know there's even more than five, but we got our five things we don't want to forget. Uh, I think people are equipped now and uh, ready to go out and uh, we'll have you back again on another show, I'm sure. Excellent. Thank you so much, John. It's always great to be here. Love the folks at Smead and all your products. Okay, great. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, don't forget these five things when you do your spring cleaning, and don't forget to get us next time on Keeping You Organized. <laughs>